Hey, I appreciate you watching Mondays with Mike. Today's a national holiday set aside to honor Martin Luther King Jr., a man who, whether you agree with him politically or not, you understand that he gave his life over. He was very committed and dedicated to loving all people equally. Uh, that's a kind of a biblical concept. He got that from Jesus who said, I want you to, to uh, follow me and in following me, I want you to treat everybody with equal dignity and respect and worth and value. I want you to love well. And, and Jesus said, you gotta love your neighbor as yourself. Twice Paul summarized the entire law. Uh, the entire Old Testament can be summarized in uh, love your neighbor as yourself. And we talked yesterday in church about uh, how that, if I struggled with loving my neighbor as myself, I was probably struggling with loving God deeply. And uh, no, no Christian really wants to admit that. But if I slow down and say, how am I doing at loving others? Not people who are like me, but people who are other than me. And, and then maybe I'm really struggling with, with loving God with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength. Jesus said in Matthew chapter 10, Whoever does not take up his cross and follow me is not worthy of me, but whoever finds his life will lose it, and whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Following Christ is a daily dying to self and living for him. In Matthew 16, he said this, uh, whoever does not deny himself and take up his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. We wanna be worthy of Jesus. So let's deny our own inclinations and desires and and, and preconceived notions and, and do what Jesus said uh, in Philippians 2 it says look uh, if you want to be like Jesus count other people as more valuable count count their interest uh, as better than your own Philippians chapter 2 actually uh, in, in the whole passage about hey this is how you're supposed to be like Jesus it, it says do nothing uh, from rivalry or conceit but in humility count others more significant than yourselves. Um, humility is a hard thing to measure. How do I measure if I'm being more and more humble? Because it sounds like a prideful thing, but the book of Proverbs actually talks about how uh, it, how you listen to others really has a lot to do with your humility. If you're, if you're not able to listen to others, uh, you're probably not being very humble. Um, and, and God wants you to love others. Adam, Pastor Adam did a message that January 1st on the value of listening to others. So this week, I want you to find a, a other in your life and, and and just go listen to them. Say, you know what, I want to demonstrate that I love you just by listening to you. Ask them a question. Ask them what's hard about living around here or, or what's going on in your life. Or just ask them a question. Look them in the eye and shut up and listen for the answers and, and, and just learn them. Just, just, just learn about them and help them know that you value them simply because they're an image bearer of their creator. I think that would be a great thing to do this week is just go find someone that's other than you, a neighbor. Love your neighbor as yourself and just slow down and listen to them. Find out what's going on in their life and let them know that you're praying for them and let them know that they are greatly loved. I appreciate you watching Mondays with Mike. Never ever forget you too are greatly loved. See you next week.